Hi guys, welcome back to Sippy Spiritual. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Leo for November. Reading is general, so may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. And characters can always be reversed, vice versa. Be Leo for November. And we're going to be using a new deck, so I apologize. I am going to be reading a lot of the book here. But I really like the messages in this book. Um, I'm sorry, this deck. It's called The Enchanted Map. Um, so, sorry about that, but I think... I think a lot of us need to hear what's in this particular deck this month. Metamorphosis. Metamorphoses are about change. We have Balancing Act and Into the Unknown. I haven't pulled any of these cards yet at all. Either one, any one of them. So we have Into the Unknown, Balancing Act. I am going to read these in a moment. Pull one more. So I pulled this card a bunch, so I know, actually know what this one is today. Um, Magical Map Shifter. This is about how certain people can kind of come into our lives in order to teach us a lesson now that may they may be there for the long term to help us grow or whatever or they may be there temporarily temporarily to teach us something I actually might read one line from this but all right spirit orchestrates everyone's destiny when the magical map shifter card arrives it comes with a mission to make you aware of the people who come into your life to impact your personal growth perhaps you may meet a soulmate whose presence invites you to be the best you that you can be or someone who leads you out of a difficulty and into a place of safety or success pay attention to those individuals who cross your path today and cause you to reflect on your journey all right we have number 11 balancing act you are calm within no matter the fluctuation of outer conditions there are times when things seem a bit topsy-turvy and feel as if you are juggling a thousand balls in the air. Perhaps you're unsure of your footing. Now is the moment to evaluate which areas of your life need balance and then restore equilibrium. Choose harmony over discord and great success will be yours. You'll find inner stability when you choose a balanced, focused, level path. So someone might come into your life that kind of helps you maybe realize that you need to be a little bit more balanced. Into the unknown. Trust and all will be rewarded. Life is an adventure and often new opportunities will arise that you won't know how to deal with. This is one of those times. You are required to trust that this new phase will reveal wonders and miracles as you step into unknown territory. Imagine that you are not only a pathfinder but a path maker. Whatever you inquire, trust that you'll be safe. Stay safe as you discover new and marvelous territories and valuable tre treasures. So you might meet somebody that maybe you're interested in or intrigued by or whatever and it's kind of unknown you're not sure what's going to happen with it and you need you kind of freak out and maybe that's there to show you that you need to remain more balanced don't freak out about what's going to happen with this particular person maybe realize that this person taught me a particular lesson awesome and if they're meant to be more there'll be more and not kind of stepping back and not worrying about it so much Lastly, here we had metamorphosis. You are in the process of a deep and beautiful change. Butterflies are in their wings through great effort. The process of change is often painful, for it is never without losses and sacrifices. If you are to transition from one form to another, a part of you needs to die. Letting go isn't easy, especially when you're used to thinking a certain way about your life and how you live it. Interesting. All right. beauty hmm, i've never pulled this one either i've only pulled one of these cards another one. Oh no too many one more please all right creation i haven't pulled this one either i apologize this one's gonna be very uh much like a story time here um Beauty. Beauty is like medicine. It can even heal the most broken spirit. Beauty is everywhere in nature. Just look. 
Beauty comes in many forms and we can choose to find it. I love how I look. Rid yourself of clutter and what you find disagreeable. I see beauty everywhere and it raises my vibration. Focus on beauty. Focus on things in nature. Focus on positive things, right? And not this unknown. I mean, look, she doesn't look happy to be in the unknown. I mean, look how dark she has a blindfold on, right? It's scary to go into the unknown. But in a sense, see the beauty of it. See that that could mean anything's coming. Okay, we have creation. You can create your own destiny by industrious. Every creature on earth creates. You should welcome the process of creation. Save money and time. Have a reserve. It's like you can create your life. So trying to basically trying to make the unknown less scary. Think about the unknown as maybe this is going to end up being awesome. Instead of like, what's in the unknown? What, how is it going to be? Why isn't it happening now? What's going on? Like balancing, learning to balance the fact, learning to balance the scariness of the unknown and turning that into a positive and seeing the beauty in that really, right? It's, it's going to be a big metamorphosis in you, I feel like, where you learn to see the beauty in the unknown and the beauty of maybe I met some particular person oh, this is so relevant to me and I just learned I'm a what am I a Leo I think I'm a Leo moon or I think I'm a Leo moon so this is like now that I realize that I can resonate because I finally figured out my birth time anyway um it was funny because my mom randomly said something the other day she's like oh I think your birth time was such and such and I was like I've literally been meaning to ask you that it was so random I was like, oh my God. And then she texted me the other day and I didn't even follow up again. She's like, oh, your birth time's 1233. And I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> anyway, so what I always do when I meet something, somebody or something that seems, that kind of kickstarts something in my head, makes me think or whatever. I'm like, why did they meet this person? Why did they meet this person? What's going on? Are they meant to be in my life forever? Or was that just a lesson? Was that just to make me think? I always go there. And I think this thing with here, it's like, just relax in the fact that you don't know. Maybe it's either one of those things, but you'll eventually find out. <laughs> Compass, true north, right? You're going to find out. You're on the path, stalemate. Just because there's a stalemate doesn't mean you're not heading towards your true north, right? You can't screw up following a compass, right? Because you're always gonna go north. You might not know where you're going, but you're always going north, right? I've been using this analogy. It's like, think about you're on a train and it's like a video game where you pick up different things along the way, right? You know, it may be a mile down the road, but you're obviously going to pick it up because it's on the path. You can't screw up, you can't screw up a compass, compass unless you, like, decide you're going to go south. Like, so you can go into the unknown because it's the right path. It's your true north, right? So just follow the path and don't worry about why and when and how and whatever, all these readings are so similar, but this one's like so highly relevant to me. Wheel of Fortune, Fate, Karma, Cycles, Forces of the Universe, Destiny, Synchronicity. Exactly. It all happens the way it's supposed to. So enjoy the unknown. Yarn, complicated circumstances, string along, puzzling, all tied up. It might be confusing, the path you end up taking, but see the beauty in it. See the beauty in the unknown. See the beauty in the things not working out exactly how you intended them to. Um, the moon, <laughs> the unknown, also maybe dealing with the Pisces, six to nine months. The mice, stress. Why are we bothering to be stressed about it, right? The balancing act. Just learn to enjoy this unknown period in your life. Because I don't think it's going to last very long. Fox, self-interest, still, something's wrong. Don't assume because it's a stalemate that it's not going to be something. And I just saw this and I'm gonna take it. Magnet, right? Longing, desire, gravity. With these two cards together, the magnet and the true north, there's literally nothing that can stop whatever this is, right? So just because you don't know exactly how it's gonna play out, right? It's going to play out exactly how it's supposed to and how it needs to. Because you can't screw up a magnet and a compass. <laughs> All right. Basically, another thing is it's like, why are we stressing when we know we're on the right path, right? If you know you're following north, why are we freaking out? It, you can't, the compass doesn't screw up. All right. More anxiety, nine of swords. All this anxiety. 
balance out all this anxiety and stress. The, you're on the right path. You're on your true north path. It's going to be magnetized to you. So enjoy the unknown. Enjoy the process. See the beauty in it, right? See the beauty here. You probably did the unknown. You probably did meet some particular person. That is going to be relevant. But just ride the wave. Knight of Wands, passionate energy coming in towards you. Temperance, patience. <laughs> Classic. And Seven of Swords, you're worried about it not going how you want. Because we have the Fox too. It's like, why is it? Why is there a stalemate? Why isn't it happening? It's not going to happen. No, it's not going to work out how I want. But you're literally, you can't screw up this. Just because it's unknown doesn't mean. It's not heading in this true north magnet direction. All right, guys. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe so you can be notified when I post future videos. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me. It's simply Sharon, and I'll see you next time. Bye.